Um, so my favorite part about OHS, probably the teachers. I've had a lot of really good teachers during my time here. So I have to say my favorite part of OHS is the people. Because, and I know everyone says the people, but it's actually the people. Because I think I've just met so many interesting people, and there's so many different, diverse people, and it's just such a nice group and mix of people, and I don't know, I love my friends. Uh, my favorite part of OHS would probably be the uh, auditorium, because it's super awesome. My favorite thing about OHS, I would have to say, is the people. And how there's never, ever, seriously, ever, a dull moment. You can walk down the hallway and there's always somebody doing something completely crazy. And I always, like, we always turn to each other. I know, Jesse. We always turn to each other and say, like, nowhere else will you find this in our lives. I can probably look back and say, that was, that was an awesome thing. Nowhere else will ever find some of these experiences. Uh, my favorite thing about OHS definitely got to be where the school is. <laughs> it might sound dorky, but like we could go anywhere um, on our off periods, and a lot of other schools don't have that. So that and the teachers. They are great teachers. My favorite part of OHS would probably be the people and um, science research. <laughs> Probably science research and the people in our like grade. I really like science research just because like science is my favorite subject and we all are like a big family. And um, I like drama until this year. <laughs> but um, I really like the people in our class. I've made so many good friends. So I don't. I love OHS and I love everything about it. Uh, I don't know if this is appropriate, but um, last year in physics class, we were just like fooling around and like throwing up the shocker, which is this. I don't know if you get that, but uh, Miss Santa thought it was a superhero, and it's it's not. Probably in Color War that year, where we were, I think we were a freshman, we were in orange, so we were in freshman, and then all the seniors came out, and I think Man Man came out, and he just busted the doors down, and I was like, oh my god, I'm about to die, I had to leave, I had to escape, I ran away, don't worry, that, I guess it wasn't funny, but now it's funny looking back on it, it's kind of scary, yeah. That. I definitely have to say, like, my best memory would definitely be, like, all the football games and homecomings, it was always, like, so much fun, and our grade really came together and everything. So I'm definitely going to miss that, especially when I'm off to college. One time, freshman year, Sarah Harkey fell down a staircase in front of all the seniors. <laughs> Once I was walking off campus with Julie, and it was snowing. And Well, it wasn't snowing, but it snowed on the ground, but it kind of like froze over, so it was all icy. And for some reason, we decided to walk from all the way over there instead of coming down here. And we literally, like, slid on our butts the entire way. We just kept falling and like getting back up and falling and clinging to each other and it was just really funny. Go. So, uh, probably my funniest OHS memory, well, it, it was funny for everybody else. It wasn't funny for me, but I, I still think it's funny now. Um, it was during my first play at OHS and Mikey Mazzullo, the lead, thought it would be funny, uh, funny to pants me in front of everybody, but he full body pants me and everybody saw it. So, it wasn't funny for me, funny for everybody else. My favorite OHS memory would be going to the movies to see my favorite book of all time become a movie, um, Time Traveler's Wife, yes. And um, while we were in there, I lost control of my emotions, started sobbing hysterically, and the young man who worked there came over and told me I either had to contain my emotions or I would be asked to leave the theater. And my friends have never let me live it down. Um, Jenna collapsed and like, you know, just laughter and I... I, I turned I've been, to cry. I, yeah, Jesse started, you know, just like crying and then laughing and it was, it was a big mess and we were all just, you know, threatened to never come back and um, I'll never forget that. It was so funny. <laughs> My funniest moment was freshman year. I had um, I went off campus with this kid. He drove me to Subways. I was wearing my jacket. It said Austin with Cross on it. And in walks Mr. Olson. He was he was nice. You know, asked us what was up. And uh, then I, I was mad scared. Then and then I thought I got away with it. You know, two but then two days later, we came back to school. It was a Monday. I got called out to his office. He walked in. He was like, Oh, by the way, Brian can't be off campus, you're in, you're in school suspension, and I got mad scared, but instead, he was nice, let me off with a warning, and made me uh, clean the halls for an, an hour after uh, every day, so uh, that was just, it was kind of funny, because I thought I got away with it, and uh, 
Mr. Olsen never lets me forget that moment. So. Yeah. Freshman year. <laughs> my, my two friends were sitting on a little uh, like the pavilion outside the music hall, and um, me and Maddie <laughs> again <laughs> were spying on them, and. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Especially you had like an afro, you have no idea. I could not control my hair, and I had this like big blonde afro. <laughs> and so uh, we get back, and my friend Brian goes, "Lila, we saw your hair in the bush. You were taking pictures of us. That's creepy." And I thought it was really funny. And so yeah. <laughs> uh, my funniest OHS memory was um, seeing a big penis on. The chalkboard while Mr. D was doing our um, little do nows for calculus. I knocked my head into the defibrillator on the third floor of the language building yeah. in a really hurt. Right. So that was that. Uh, Shadman walked into a boy's bathroom and we tried to stop her. So we were like, Shadman! And she still walked in and she went in there for like a good two minutes. And then she um. I miss the drinks and that lady by the calf, like she says, where y'all going? Like, I really don't like that, you know, I'm just going to my locker. I can go to my locker, I'm not going to disturb anybody. That's it. Okay, so this may be horrible, but the lady that stands in front of the cafeteria that always yells at you whenever you leave the cafeteria. If I have to go to guidance, like, I'm sorry, but usually I'm not one of those people that's causing a ruckus and going off to do horrible things. I'm usually going to the bathroom or guidance or science research and every single time it's a big deal. So that's my least favorite part. Uh, I hate that there's butter patties still on the ceiling in the cafeteria. Gotta go with the attendance teams and that phone call home when you cut class. It's a, there's some, you know, maybe some too many rules, I think, you know, it's too much strict, like, mm. you know, in terms of, like, if you're in the calf, you know, they don't really allow, like, people playing music and stuff. It's like, it's not as much just kind of, like, letting high school kids be themselves and, like, just kind of just hanging out. There's always, like, something that you can't be doing, something. Uh, I really don't like the security here. Like, I don't know why we pay to have them. I don't know what they do. They just scream, so, I mean, hopefully they'll all get laryngitis one day and shut up. I hate Jim. hate it. Walking back up to the school from Lucy. Uh, the one thing I don't like about OHS is that uh, the downstairs in the auditorium, it floods, and sometimes we get sewage water, and that's really gross. <laughs> My least favorite thing about OHS is the DCA policy. Um, it was 21, and now it's 14. Come on, like, we're all absent more than 14 times. I, I can't get out of bed. Like, it happens. It just it can't. It doesn't work out. It's all right. I don't understand. <laughs> No air conditioning in the hallway. It sucks. I don't not like anything about OHS. <laughs>
find out who you are. It's such a unique time. This is one of the only times in your life that you're going to have an opportunity like this.